this file is full of presidential directives. <laughs> I just think that I don't know how the president feels, but some of them are years old. How a presidential directive can it take years? Former lands minister and now presidential advisor Bet Olive Namisango Kamia has handed over office to her successor, Judith Narule Nabakova. Being a minister of in government is like a, 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 a really race. You, pre, you plan things, you run your race, and then you pass on the mantle, the mantle to the next person. Kamia appealed to the incoming minister to fulfill the pending presidential directives, that is, sorting out the Ndeva Church land scandal and Naguru land compensation. And the president, in his uh, wisdom to create harmony in the community, directed this ministry to acquire that land for government, after which the government would then offer it to, or donate it to the church. You've heard the outside community, members of the public, they are bashing this ministry. A lot is taking place, so this is the time for us to prove ourselves that things can work for the better of all Ugandans. This is the time for us to restore public confidence and also trust in the Ministry of Lands. This is the time to ensure that there is security for the Vivanja holders. Judith Nabakova, who has hitherto been the Minister for Information and National Guidance, pledges to fulfill all the activities that her predecessors had not completed. Nabakova also pledges zero tolerance to corruption. We need to fight corruption as a team. We need to make sure that at least we put our heads together on how to end the vice of corruption in the lands ministry, but also service delivery. It is very, very important. Nabakoba has also directed all security personnel and RDCs to ensure there is no land eviction anywhere across the country. I want to sound a warning to all police officers and RDCs to stop evictions during this lockdown. Why do people carry policemen, carry private guards and go to destroy people's homes and properties during the lockdown when everybody is expected to be at home for the 42 days? Whoever is doing it, please stand warned. And I know the police have these directives already to stop evictions in lockdown. She also promises to introduce a toll-free number at the ministry for members of the public to lodge in complaints related to land.